Hey everybody, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and with the watch.bonniebaycrochet.com channels. Many of you know already that we are beginning to add closed captions in English and in several other languages. This is the first time for us doing this and we're putting a lot of time into it because we want you to have the best experience possible with these instructional videos. However, um, we have hired a um, a translation service to help do the first translation for us. And then we have to go in and edit these carefully. And that's what this video is all about. As smart as this artificial intelligence system is, it doesn't know how to crochet or knit. So we have to carefully go back over these words because there are a lot of words that they just don't understand. And it makes for some really funny reads. And this is why we have to edit them. And I thought I would read some of these to you and just have a fun light time with this video. So go ahead and grab your hooks and your yarn and maybe your cup of coffee or tea or in my case, Diet Pepsi. And um, let's go ahead and read. All right, we're gonna start off with a particular type of yarn. This is a medium or worse. Did or Aaron wait yarn? <laughs> Uh, we're going to start in the fourth grade from hook. Oh my goodness, I hope most of us are past the fourth grade. Although, if you are a fourth grader, no offense intended, you are so welcome to be here at my channel. Now I'm going to go ahead and knot my yard. Whew, that would be hard to knot that grass out there in that yard. Yes, I am a knotty crosshair. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be crocheter, but anyway. We're going to double wrap our hope for a front post trouble. Hmm. We're going to make a front post travel again. That sounds like some special magic. <laughs> and while we look at the back side, you can see for each of these troubles, I have skipped the stitch here, here, and here. I have worked the treble, double treble, and front coast treble. <laughs> I'm not sure where the front coast is, but um, anyway, I'm going to slip dishes. That sounds expensive. Okay, this is an interesting paragraph. Hi, I'm Bonnie Parker with Bonnie Bay Crochet Guang. Well, let me first of all say I'm not Bonnie Parker. That was actually a bank robber. And this is Bonnie Barker. And then it continues. And this crochet alarm is going to make this ecological wall, which actually cascades ecologically wall, Katrina cabled wrap. That sounds confusing. We're just going to call it the Katrina cable grab. So this is what it is. It's made of 100% well, of course, if you want to substitute a yard, you may do that. You can use any kind of a bulky or number five weight yard. Obviously, they don't know the name or the word yarn. Um, so that is something problematic. I have to change that a lot. Here's another one. It's a raft that goes around. <laughs> to my knowledge, I have never crocheted a raft and I don't think I really advise it. It probably would have some sinkable properties to it. If that's not what you want to do, you can wear it just as a simple, you know, cover up Iraq. Mm, that does not sound nice. <laughs> if you don't want just a bulky walking scarf. Now that sounds like a nice cartoon, the walking scarf. And it features what I'm calling the stitch of the week cable and get a little bit closer the week cable. Hmm, sounds like a romance now. Some nice double webbing on the bottom of each end. Not so sure about the double webbing. Got to have some metrics, right? Yeah. And here's another interesting, interesting correction. Hi, my name is Bonnie Barker, Responded Day Crochet Icon. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with Bonnie Bay Crochet instead of going to Responded Day Crochet. And I don't feel like an icon, so anyway. Um, here we are getting ready to do the ripping trim. Oh, that does not sound encouraging at all. Uh, although we all know what ripping is. I, I promise I have not designed a ripping trim yet, but I may think about it. For three days to Jane to skip first stitch again. 
Jay and I promise this was and nothing about you. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we're going to work for two post double crushes. And we are not going to work the churning chain. Oh dear. The churning chain. It kind of reminds me of either a really hard problem uh, project that makes your stomach churn or maybe even hand <laughs> handmade ice cream because <laughs> you have to churn it a lot. Hopefully you don't have to churn many of my projects very often. Here's another one. These sound delicious. Single Hershey chain, one double crochet, train one and double crochet. Hmm. I've never crocheted with chocolate before, but I may have to give that a try. Uh, several Hershey chain, one double crochet, and they did capitalize Hershey, so they know they know how to capitalize proper names, but I promise you I said nothing about chocolate in this video. So several Hershey chain, one double crochet, three double cushions. You're going to work on another little stitch, which is a single Christian chain. Okay. Um, you have your six gripping rows. And we're going to do that across the room. Wow, that sounds like a seriously big project. But not as big as this one. Listen to this one. We're going to work this all the way across the road. It is, it, if this is the first time working this ditch. Oh my goodness, this sounds more like road construction than crochet. And now we're going to be getting into Tolkien here. We're going to work Rohan. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and join these with the neutral stick. I've never heard that uh, crochet hook called the neutral stick, but um, that's kind of catchy. Maybe that'll catch on in the internet. <laughs> this is a reverse angle crochet. And go ahead and clip a generous trance so I can show you how to hide this. Okay. So you're getting a feel for why I'm having to go in and change some of these words. Can you imagine what a clip a generous trance might mean in, let's say, Arabic? That might be really offensive <laughs> or, you know, or in Spanish. I mean, I, I can just see that this, this poor person sitting um, somewhere in South Florida trying to understand what that means with, you know, with the Spanish translation. Um, here's another one. So go ahead and work that SC all the way across the room. Here we go. Another room project. Single crochet in that next face. Ah, oh, that do not do that. Do not single crochet in people's faces. Okay. That's just, ah, oh, that sounds awful. I'm going to be using two hunks of cascade yarn spontaneous. Two hunks. Okay. We're going to join with this limp stitch. Hmm. Must be crocheting with wet yarn to have a limp stitch. Uh, and now I want to read some that are very specific to the Listoon Varnish Shawl. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, the Listoon Varnish Shawl was a design um, that was inspired by a trip taken back in 2012 to the wonderful country of Ireland. And in Ireland, I got to go to a little town called Listoon Varna. I just love the way it rolls off the tongue. And um, so I named a shawl after this, which is a, has a stole and then a back portion, kind of like a sweater wrap, or it is a sweater wrap. So this is what the AI did with the word, uh, some of the things it did with the, the pattern with the name Listoon Varna, you can imagine, right? Well, these just made my husband and me laugh so much. I want to invite you to come join us as we crochet the listing varnish. Listing, wow, I can imagine crocheting with varnish. Okay, it sounds kind of sticky. It's basically a stall, but not just a stall. Now we're talking of houses for horses. <laughs> I think they mean stall. Okay, please do not try bursted weight yarn on this project. Can you imagine? That sounds dangerous. I also want to thank Nannies for allowing me to even make these videos. Um, so all you nannies out there, thank you so much for letting me do this. <laughs> I think they're referring to Annie's, but anyway, here's another one for, for the Listoon Varna. This is the List Down Varna Shore video one. I love the way the AI tries to figure out what exactly I am saying and they miss it every time. 
If yours does this, the next row is going to take a lot of the crew out. Now that sounds very dangerous. Don't do a crochet row that takes the crew out, okay? Especially if you're on a boat, that would be horrible. Um, do not work in the tiny chain at the end of this row. Pull through to your ant over. Okay, that sounds like trouble for family if you ask me. <laughs> Repeat rows two through 12 of the, I'm not even gonna read the rest of this one because it is highly questionable. And this is the video number three of the Stuart Varney show. Yay, Stuart Varney. Hmm, think I should change the name of my channel to the Stuart Varney Crochet channel? I think I'll stick with Bonnie Bay Crochet. This sounds another, this sounds like a piercing to me. We're going to join our yarn with this lip stitch. Is that how they do those piercings? Wow, a lip stitch. Okay, so we're making a little pickle here. I know nothing about little pickles, guys. Okay, I will go across the room with that. Here's an interesting one. Pull up the glue so you should have the beginning of two troubles and this one other loop left on your hook. Let me tell you, if you crochet with glue, you are going to have more than two troubles. <laughs> okay, yarn over, copper to Arthur, Jane five. The next she grease proof. Let's try that again. <laughs> I just can't imagine what this sounds like translated, you know, a bad, a bad AI translated to other languages. Oh my goodness, that would be, could be so troublesome. For this project, I'm going to be using some lovely decayed weed baby alpaca yarn. And let me tell you, I have crocheted with a lot of different types of yarn. I have seen yarn made of corn. I have seen yarn made of sugar cane. I have seen yarn made of bamboo. But I'm not sure that there is any yarn made of decayed weed baby alpaca. Uh, that's, that's a new one on me. Uh, don't get any ideas, guys. <laughs> and again, crushing on one side of this chain, whatever that means. Okay, we're almost done. The attorney changes just won't show you that I'm not going into just a single loop to a single thread. Hmm, not working with any attorneys currently, and I hope I don't have to begin. Proposed trouble in the next four stitches, and then a half double in that turning Jane. Well, if you ever see a, a crochet project that says propose trouble in the next four stitches, I think I would put down the project and run. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that with me. Um, if you did, please comment below. I hope to have more of these in the future. I know I'm going to have more of these in the future as I um, add more of these to my uh, upcoming videos. Well, God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>